Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. I'm very excited. A new version of Lightroom came out, Lightroom 11. And uh, if you did not update it yet, you can do it. Just go to your Creative Cloud and make sure you go to Apps and you install the latest update. You see uh, there is a new version of Lightroom called Lightroom 5 and Lightroom Classic, which is 11. So when you look at your Lightroom and you go to Cla Lightroom and you go to um, About Lightroom Classic, you should see 11.0 release, camera 14.0, and you will be able to experience what I'm going to show you. The main feature is the masking. Let me show you. So this is a photo from Miami. I want to do a quick retouching. First, I'm going to make it straight by clicking on Auto. And then, you know, I'm going to do my usual workflow where I'm going to open some of the shadows. I'm going to bring down some of the uh, highlights. I'm going to do my black. I'm going to do my white. But I'm like, okay, I want to do something about, um, you know, the sky. But usually what I would do, would do, and look, this is the new interface. You've got a cropping tool, a spot healing brush tool, uh, the red eye tool, and you got this for masking. So you click on this. And back in the day, we would go to linear gradient and do a gradient for the sky. I can take the show overlay here. And, you know, and I would make the sky darker. The problem that it would select, it would do that on a tree also. So, you know, of course, I could go here and um, I could go to a luminance mask, which we don't have that option here. But now check this out. You go here, you, uh, you click on this, you go select sky. That's new. Select subject and select sky. And you can see the show overlay is going to show you what the sky is going to be. And in red is what is selected. You can see most of the tree is not selected. Amazing. I can rename it sky, which it should do by default. But anyway, sky, okay. I'm gonna click off show overlay. And now if I make my sky darker or brighter, you see it only affects the sky. I wanna add more magenta because I, it was very magenta sky, a more warm sky like that, make it maybe a bit darker. And if you wanna see the before and after of the sky, you can see before, after, before, after. Pretty, pretty cool. Now. Uh, you can see this maybe something weird here. You can see show sky overlay. No, it's good. The red is actually good. No, it's, it's all good. Okay, next photo I'm going to show you on this one. Same thing. I'm going to go here and open the shadows, bring on the highlights, do my black, do my white. And I want to make maybe add a bit of magenta. I want to make the sky much better. That was a crazy sky. What happened to the sky? Well, I'm going to go here and I... I I'm going to go here and say select sky and it's going to select the sky and then I can do whatever I want uh, here. I can, you know, I can make it, uh, I'm going to take the show overlay option, make it, you know, uh, more magenta, more exposure. This is so cool because now you're only talking about the sky, which is really, really good. Now let's say I want to do something for the rest of the photo. So I could go here, create um, a new uh, mask. So plus, I'm going to create a new sky mask, okay? But this time I want to I want to work on everything but the sky so I can click here on invert and now I'm going to I can rename it an, not the sky for example. And then I can click show overlay and then I can do I can say okay I want to make this brighter or darker actually. I can, you know, maybe uh, uh, minus clarity, you know, add some texture, you know, lower the exposure or whatever. And now I'm only dealing with what's not in the sky. So that's really kind of cool. Let me show you another example that's a little more complex. So you can go here and I can go, uh, instead of going select sky, I can go to select subject. And now my only my daughter Marine should be selected. You can see by default, I got the overlay. And I can just make her brighter, darker. In this case, I want to make her a little bit brighter, a bit less saturated. Okay. And then... Um, and let's see, let's see the overlays. Oh, you can see there is some here that was not, that was selected for some reason. That happens sometimes. You can click on a mask and you can say, um, subtract brush. And I'm just going to erase that from the selection. So it only affects her. Okay. And I can again, rename this to Marine, my daughter. And then let's create a new mask just for the sky. Boom. So now I've got two masks. This one is just a sky. Let's call it, well, it's a sky actually. Let's call it sky, sky. Okay, perfect. And on this one, I take off the overlay. I can lower the exposure. I can add some contrast. I can add some, it was warmer actually originally. I can add some more magenta, make it really darker. And check it out. You can see before and after the sky and before and after, sorry, and before 
and after here on Marine on the subject before and after. So it's really cool. And uh, let's do one more. So let's say here on this one, I want to do something about the whole photo except on, on the portrait. So I can go here, same idea. I can select subject. I can click on invert, invert, and boom, you see everything is going to be selected but them. And now uh, I can say, okay, I want to make the background much darker. I want to add maybe a little bit of tint, uh, you know, make it maybe a little more blue so they really stand out. And now it's doing it on everything, but this is such a cool option. So this is such a cool option. And it even works on animals. Oh, by the way, guys, if you uh, want to learn Lightroom, I got something new that just came out, is my free toolbox. It's a full training on how to retouch photo really fast with presets. I give you the preset, I give you the training, I give you sky. It's basically my entire workflow on how I do my photo to do this kind of photography. So I'm gonna show you my entire workflow. I'm gonna give you a lot of preset, a lot of sky, a lot of Photoshop brush. It's all free. Do the training. It's gonna change your life. It's completely free. Link under the video. All right, so back to my video here. Uh, select subject and it even works on cows. You can select subject, boom, it's selected and I can make my cow, you know, brighter, darker, you know, whatever I want to do. So it's really, really cool. Um, the other option is still there, meaning uh, if you go here and uh, you add new mass, you can still do like a, you know, a gradient like we used to do, uh, a linear gradient, a regular gradient. Uh, you can do color range, so I can go in here and says, I just want to select her dress, for example, okay? And then I can make her dress, uh, I can change the hue of her dress and make her dress like green, for example. And it's only doing an underdress, for example, which is really cool. And I can go to subtract a brush and make sure that her skin is not selected in any way, uh, which doesn't seem to be the case, uh, which is good. Actually, you can see here, uh, if you click on show overlay, you can make sure it's only the dress that's selected. Oh, by the way, this also works in Lightroom. So if you go to Lightroom, you have the same option here. For example, I'm gonna go here and retouch this uh, top of the rock, Rockefeller Center photo, my usual workflow, crush the blacks and the whites, and I really wanna do something about that sky. So I can go here and check it out. You have the new option setting the sky. And now I can make the sky uh, much uh, yellow, much more magenta, I can make it darker and I'm only doing it on the sky, before, after, before, after. So it's also in Lightroom, so it's Lightroom version five and Lightroom Classic version 11. Voila, really cool update, I'm very happy. This is something I'm really gonna use every day. Sometimes you have a day that you don't use this one, I use it. Tell me what you think in the comments. I like to make two videos per week and uh, of course, if you didn't subscribe to my YouTube channel, please subscribe. And if you want to do something for me, if you want to make me happy today, like this video so that other people can see it. I'll see you in another video. Mesdames et messieurs, au revoir.